so guys in this video we'll be building this simple react application which is basically an image gallery with a search bar we have a collection of images here with a search bar so we are able to search any image in this gallery so whatever we put in the search bar we'll be able to filter that image on the screen so it's a very simple project that has been built using react js and material ui and in this video we'll be building this project from scratch stay tuned till the end of the video leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so guys here i have a fresh react application that's running on my local host 3001 and i also have a sample application that we are trying to build so we'll try to replicate this application into this fresh react app so in this application we have been using a lot of material ui to build all this gallery components and the search bar so first thing we are going to do in this react application is to install material ui so for that i'm going to open a new tab and search material ui install into the browser so on the first link here i will find a link to material ui website so here on this website i will find a command to install material ui which i will copy from here and then we'll go back to the code of our react application so here in the code i will start a new terminal paste the command that i've copied press enter and let the material ui install in this application so now all the packages are already installed in this application so we'll go to app.js and first thing we will do is we will remove all the default code from here and we will also remove the class name from here and we just have a div component which says hello world so now we have a hello world application running on our local host 3001 so to start building this application first thing we want to do is we want to import some packages that we are going to need in this application i'm going to import react use state use effect from react and we are also going to need some packages from material ui so i'm going to import all the packages that we are going to need so we will need a card component card media a grid from material ui and we are also going to need a text field from material ui which we will be using to build a search bar that we have seen in the sample application and the all these three components card card media and grid will be using to build a card components so here you can see that this is the component that we are going to build with the text field component and these are the cards the card media which is basically an image we are going to use some random images here so here in the code the first thing that we are going to need is we are going to need some data that is basically a data related to all those images so i have some sample data that i am going to copy here so if we look at this data i have named this variable as original data and it has a title of the image and the link to the image that we are going to display on the screen so this is basically a sample data that we are going to use to build this application i'll leave a link to my github in the description so you will be able to find all this data and the sample images from my github so now we have all the images and we have all the titles that we need for the images in this original data variable i'll create another variable that is data set data and this is going to be the state variable and we are going to assign the original data in this variable so we got a data and we are also going to need one variable that we are going to use for the search bar which is search set search and this is also going to be the state variable and by default it's going to have a value of an empty string so now we are going to use this data to build something here so first thing we are going to do is we'll build a grid and this grid is going to be the container which is going to contain the entire code and we are going to put a spacing of two so all the components that will be within this grid will have a horizontal and vertical spacing of two percent and inside this grid we are going to create another grid component and this grid component is basically an item so we got two kinds of grid components one is a container and the item and inside this we are going to have our card component and inside the card component we are going to have a card media and after the card we are also going to have one 
h1 tag which can say something here let's say hello and in this card media we are going to pass some image so as of now we are just building it as a static component so i'm just going to copy the link link of any image from here and pass it here so let's see how it looks on the screen now so here on the screen we are not able to see any image here we are only able to see the h1 tag but there is no image so let's go back to the code and fix this problem so here in card media how it works is basically for the image to show here we have to give some height to the image i'll give some height here so basically what i'll do is i'll give a different height to the image on a different screen sizes so i'll say that on the large screen the height can be 360 and on the medium screen it can be 500 on the small screen the height will be 700 and on the very small screen which is a mobile screen the height is again going to be 360 let's have a look on the screen how it looks now so here on the screen we are able to see this item that is a grid item with the image and the h1 tag but we can see that the uh, width of the image is really small and this entire grid component is taking a very little space horizontally so we are going to go and align it really well to take more space on the screen so here on the code we have this grid item so we are going to define something here that will tell how much space this grid should be taking on the screen and this is going to be different for the different screens so we'll be using four kinds of screens that is extra small small medium and a large we'll be using a different uh, spacing for the four different kinds of screen this is a large screen that is a desktop medium is also going to be like an ipad or a tablet small is also going to be the tablet and extra small is going to be phone screen so we will say that on phone my grid should be taking the entire space on the screen so by default in a grid layout the entire space is 12 and on the all other screens my grid should be taking one third of the screen so i can fit three images in a row so one third of the 12 is going to be four so now on the screen you can see that my grid is taking one third of the screen so i'll be able to fit three images in a row and we can test this logic so to test this logic what i'll do is i'll just copy this grid and paste it two more times let's save it so now here on the screen you can see that we are able to fit three images in a row because this is a large screen and if i inspect it and i try to check it on the other screens so when i reduce the size of this this is still taking one third of the screen and as soon as i go to the mobile screen so now this is taking the entire screen so we can only fit one image in a row on a mobile screen so if i check this on let's say mobile view i can see that all the images are aligned vertically and if i check this on ipad here we can see that it's still taking all the three images in a single row if we want to change that we can change that so i'll go back to my code we will say that this image should be taking 50 percent of the space so if i save this and let's go back to the screen now so now you can see that the third image has moved below and it's taking 50 percent of the space so let's go back to the code again and make all the grids take the 50 percent of the space so on the small screen what i'll do is i'll just change all of them to six so let's save it and see it on the screen how it looks now so now it looks much better so on the ipad here we are going to fit two images in a row and third image is going to be shown at the bottom and if i check it on mobile it's only one image one row and if i make it responsive and check it on desktop it's fitting three images in a row so this layout seems to be very responsive so as i reduce the screen size the layout changes itself and all this magic is happening because of the material ui grid so this layout is working really well so what we will do is we'll delete these two grids because these two grids we only created to test the layout so now we got only one grid component here and we can have a look on the screen so now next thing we want this text to be coming in the center and this image 
to have little bit spacing from the top and the left so let's fix that so we can see that this entire grid container is within this div component so on this div component i will say text align to center and i'll give a margin of two percent let's see on the screen so now you can see that we have text in the center and we have two percent margin from the top and the left so now this is looking good let's display all the images here so here in the code what i'll do is i'll just map over my data if you look at the data and the data is basically a array of objects and each object in this array has two properties that is title and the image so here we'll map over this data and for each item and this here we are going to return this grid i'm going to cut this entire grid item and put it here and let's see how it looks on the screen so now we got all the images but they are not dynamically coming from the data because we have hard coded the url of the image and we are going to make it dynamic very soon so here what i'll do is i'll just remove this hard coded link and say it should be item dot image because we are mapping over each item in the array and item dot image we want to display here and the title is going to be item dot let's so now you can see that all the images are here and if we want to check the responsiveness of this we can go and check back again we reduce the screen size so this is very responsive layout so we are now very close to the original project we just want to add this search bar here and make it searchable next thing we are going to do in this project is to add the search bar at the top we have already imported one component from material ui that is text field so if you want to read more documentation on the text field material ui we can go back to the browser and let's search text field material ui so here on the first link we'll find all the documentation so you can see that there are different kinds of search bars that we can add to this project but we are going to be using this standard search bar i'll expand the code so i'll just copy this standard text field from here and let's go back to our project and i'm going to add this search bar right above grid let's save it and have a look at the project so this is our original project now we can see that we have a search bar here but the spacing is really messed up and we need to put some margins and spacing and increase the size of this search bar so let's put some css so on this text field i'm going to put some css here and this css is basically we are having a width of 300 pixels height of 20 pixels and we are giving a margin bottom of five percent now let's have a look on the screen how it looks so i think it looks perfect now in terms of spacing so we have our entire image gallery we have our search bar here and but the thing is it, it's not searching as of now so we are going to make it functional so on this text field i'll change the label to search your image i'm also going to put some on change function here so where we will say on change so here will be event we are going to console log the event so anybody is typing into the search bar we are going to console log event dot target dot value here i'll just inspect it go to my console i'll try to search something here okay so i think i've uh, made some error in the syntax so i'll go back and correct the error so here it should be actually i forgot to put console dot log so let's fix this so now i'll just refresh it and type something here so anything i'm going to type here you can see here it's logging in the console so it means our own change function is working fine so our own change is working fine so the next thing we are going to do is whatever we type here we should be able to search that image so here i actually do not want to console log this value so whatever someone is typing into the search bar i'm going to save it in my search variable if you remember in the beginning of the project we have created this state variable called search so what i'll do is in place of console log i'm going to set search to event dot target dot value so basically whenever someone is typing into this text field we are going to be the search variable is going to be changing because it's a state variable and whenever it's changing we are going to track all the changes with the help of use effect function here so i'll put 
whenever somebody is changing or typing something into the search so here we can see that we are displaying the entire data here so that's why we are able to see all the images on the screen but what we want is if somebody is searching dog here i should be able to see only the dog image not the entire data so we are going to filter the data based on the search value so here we are going to create a variable called revised data and we are going to put a filter on original data original data dot filter so here in the filter what we will say that our item dot item should include whatever is in the search so basically what i am doing is we have a data here which is a way of object so whatever i am typing in the search i want to match it with the title and filter this data and i only want to show the filtered data on the screen so this is a logic that we are using to filter the data based on the search value and after we have filtered the data i am going to say set data to data rev let's save it and see how it looks on the screen now so here on the screen i can say if i search something we can see that we are able to search using that logic so let's say if i search dog i'm not able to see anything here but we have a dog image here so what i'll do is i'll just copy this search it here so i'm able to see the dog image but the thing that's happening here is if i enter the dog in uppercase it's not able to search if i'm entering the exact value it's able to search but if i enter all the characters in lower case it's not able to search so we want to fix this logic and what we want is it doesn't matter what i'm putting a lower case or a higher case i should be able to search that image based on the value so if you know how to fix this leave it in the comments and try it on your own before you watch the next part of the video so in the next part of the video i'm basically going to fix this problem so let's go back to the code again so here in the code basically when i'm filtering the data i'm saying that my title should include the search so basically it's comparing the title with the search value so before i compare the title with the search i'm just going to convert them both to lowercase it doesn't matter the user is entering the lowercase or the uppercase i'll just convert both of them to lowercase and then i'm going to compare them so basically my item dot title in lowercase should include my search lowercase so here i'm going to enter dog and this time i entered in lowercase it's still searching if i enter uppercase it's still searching if i enter donald duck it's searching let's search spider-man hulk so now we can see that the, our entire image gallery with the search bar is working fine and it's really responsive i can check the mobile view this is looking let's check it on ipad on ipad it's also looking and on desktop it's fully responsive layout so that's it for this video subscribe to the channel leave a like on this video see you in the next project